Hey guys, welcome back to day two of area. Today we're going to talk about the area of triangles. Again, making really good notes. We will take a quiz on this on Thursday, and it'll be all, all information we've done over and there's just a lot of fun and more to come tomorrow. So make sure you're taking the really good notes. All right, guys, let's get started with this. Today we're going to talk about finding if it will present. All right, we're going to talk about here we go, the area of triangles. So we're going to calculate the area of triangles using a formula and calculate the area of a complex figure. Again, you're going to need your math book, math notebook, pencil, and pen. Now, I will tell you, you can use your calculator on the quiz because we're going to have all this information with circles. So I really don't mind. You're going to have your calculator. You can use it on whatever you need to use it on um, because I really feel like the big thing with these chapters is knowing these formulas, being really familiar with them. Okay, so here's the formula for the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle is base times height, so it's important to know what these letters stand for. Remember, this line doesn't necessarily just represent a fraction, it also means divided by. So the area of a triangle is base times height, we're going to do that first, and then divide it by 2. Now as you get older, you'll also hear 1 half of base times height, same thing, think about that, right? Half of 4 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, half of 8 is 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So dividing something by 2 means the same as half of it. Um, I just like the divided by 2 because as we think about what we're actually going to do to find the area, what we're going to do is divide it by 2. So I think it's simpler. Now, here's kind of the tricky thing with the height of a triangle. Sometimes if you have a right triangle, your height will be the side length. So like if it comes straight up here and you have a right triangle, your height will be the side. But typically your height is just the there. It's a line from the base to like the topmost point on a triangle. And so they'll be really clear on which part the base is. They're not going to give you numbers that you're not using. But as you get older and into some higher level math, they will. So it's just kind of important to be aware of what the height of a triangle is. So on this triangle, our base is 3 and our height is 5. So here's our formula, base times height divided by 2. So we're going to do 3 times 5, which is 15. And then 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 centimeters squared. Still dealing with area, so we're going to make sure we label it squared. And if you think through, the biggest problem I see when people are doing the area of the triangle is they forget to divide it by 2, right? So they'll do base times height. That's what they're used to doing. They'll put 15 and forget to divide it by 2. But if you think through this logically, right, a triangle is half of a parallelogram or half of a rectangle, right? If you take a rectangle, you can split it into two triangles. Any parallelogram can be split into two triangles, so that's why we're going to divide it by 2. Okay? These should be pretty quick notes today. All right, so quick review. Today in your homework, you're going to be asked to do um, a lot of these things. So I want to review and make sure you're looking carefully at your homework about whether or not it's a parallelogram or a triangle because you'll have to find the area of both. So today in your homework you might be asked to find the circumference of a circle. So remember the circumference of a circle is circumference equals pi times diameter. We use 3.14 for pi. Diameter goes all the way across or 2 times pi times radius and the radius just goes halfway. I'm going to skip this one. Perimeter of any polygon so a square or a rectangle or a triangle or some irregular polygon. We just add up all the sides. The area of a rectangle or a square is length times width. And the area of a parallelogram is base times height. 
So you might be asked to do all of these things on your homework today, as well as find the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by two. So if you need to, I would pause this and write all of these down. These are the formulas that you will be accountable for so far, and tomorrow we'll add to that. All right, your assignment today is pages 244 and 245, 1 through 7 all, and 17 through 19 all. Make sure on those first 1 through 7, some of them are parallelograms. So on those, you're just going to do the base times the height. Some are triangles, so on those, you need to do base times height, and then don't forget to divide it by 2. So pause this, come back, and we will go through it. All right. Number 1 was a parallelogram, so we just did 8 times 6, which is 48 meters squared. Number two was a triangle, so we do our eight times six, which is 48, and then we have to divide that by two, so 24 meters squared. Number three, a parallelogram, five times seven is 35 inches squared. Number four, five times seven, which is 35, but we have a triangle, so we have to divide it by two, so we should get 17.5 inches squared. Make sure we're putting the squared. That's only true for area. We don't do that if it's just the length of a side or if it's perimeter. Number five was also a triangle. So we did, I actually can't read that. It looks like a three. <laughs> three times five, which is 15, divided by two, 7.5 inches squared. Number six. 2.5 times 2.5, and then we needed to divide that by 2, so we should have 3.125 centimeters squared. And number 7, now you had to remember how to multiply and divide fractions, so hopefully you did. 2 times 1.4, sorry, 2 times 1 and 1 fourth, and that would give you 2 and 1 half and then two and one half divided by two is one and one fourth. All right, then you had some word problems. On number 17, it's a rectangle and it gives you the width of the banner, which is six feet, and it tells you the length is two times that. So to find the length, we needed to do six times two, which was 12, and then 12 times 6, which is 72 in its area, so 72 feet squared. Okay, and then on number 18, we have a circular clay pot with a diameter of 8.6 inches. And because she's going all the way around, we're needing to find the circumference. So we needed to do our pi times diameter, 3.14 times 8.6. And we would get 27. And then on number 19, we have a pennant. So the thing you needed to know is that a pennant is shaped like a triangle. So if you've seen like those pennant type banners that you would get at a sporting event, that's what we're talking about here. All right. And it's 18 by eight, so we needed to multiply that first and then make sure we divide it by two and you would get 72 inches squared. All right, hopefully all of that made sense. If you have questions, don't forget there is math help today at one o'clock. Tomorrow we're gonna go through one more new piece of information and then quiz on Thursday. All right, great job today. See you guys later.